As preppy apparel retailer J. Crew continues to struggle financially, don't expect an exit by its private equity owners anytime soon. On Thursday, the New York-based clothing chain said comparable store sales for the first quarter were down a whopping 8%. Total revenue, meanwhile, decreased 2% to about $580 million. And adjusted EBITDA declined to $45 million compared to almost $65 million in EBITDA for the same period a year prior. The company's CEO, Mickey Drexler, blamed poor product assortment and NITs for the result, as well as steep discounting by competitors and the weather. And the company expects its apparel business to be under pressure for the remainder of the year. Due to the bad numbers, J. Crew recorded asset impairment charges again, this time writing down the value of its reporting unit by $340 million and reducing the valuation of its J. Crew brand name by another $190 million. Not only are J. Crew's struggles interfering with the aim of backers Leonard Green and TPG to exit the business through either a sale or IPO, the lack of a turnaround has the company's debt investors worried. Yesterday, the notes held by J. Crew's parent holding company backing a prior dividend payment traded down four and a half points. In fact, industry sources say that J. Crew is in danger of having to restructure, in this case, swapping debt for equity if it fails to revive sales. I'm Richard Collings with the Deal Report.